I personally got involved in the very early days, was there before we actually had EXIF as we know it today, and sort of was involved in the iterations that got it to the technique that sort of changed the way we do spine surgery now. For me, it was a no-brainer. It was the opportunity to, on a ground level, participate in a technology and not just a small baby step iteration, a technology that really changed how we thought about treating conditions and uh, a, a technology that would really change the ability to execute on our surgical goals reliably. It was obviously an exciting time. I mean, we were just on the cusp of making minimally invasive surgery into a real field in spine surgery. At that time, there were a handful of people that had really embraced it and uh, people were looking at ways to do it better. The true story of it actually is, there are a couple of us that had worked closely with Nuvasa. We were going back and forth of different ways of evolving the field. And we had some very early data that we went to a spine meeting in uh, Switzerland uh, to present the data and have a sort of lab session with a bunch of surgeons. We were in the room showing our technique as it had evolved to that point. And at that time, a surgeon well known to everybody from Brazil walked in and said, you know, this looks great, but you know, I've got some tweaks here and there and we can make it better if we, instead of doing it this angle, change the angle. We said, this sounds interesting. And he said, yeah, I've done cases in Brazil. Uh, weeks later, a group, two or three of us flew out to Brazil and did cases and brought back what we learned and evolved the procedure off of that to some extent. It really took two, three years till we really had a procedure we thought, you know, would really muster all the uh, standards we'd set in terms of reproducible safety, reliability, outcomes, clinical outcomes, fusion outcomes. That takes, uh, it takes time and work to get to that point. I think the people involved in it at that time, there were two, three, four of us, it was a very small, uh, tight group, really felt we had something. I mean, I think there was always forward energy. There were incredibly talented people, engineers that worked with us that really had this vision. The first case, obviously very nerve wracking. Uh, you know, we'd practiced a lot. We'd done it in labs a lot. So it wasn't like we didn't have a lot of uh, basic science, at least experience, but obviously faced with the real patients, it's a whole different beast. Even though we'd done a bunch of practicing cadavers, you know, after the first patient, I didn't feel like I'm ready for prime time. And then even during that period when we were doing our first, you know, 20, 30 patients, the technology was evolving with us and we were making changes as we learned in the operating room. Safety was always front and center. That's the way to sort of evolve new technologies. I mean, the reality is with anything new, when you haven't done them before, there's always an element of unknown. I mean, I can tell you in my own operating room, when I've got a 50-50 case and I schedule MIST lifts every time, my PAs are, no, no, let's do lateral, let's do lateral, because they know it's going to be a much easier day in the OR, I'm going to be more relaxed, it's going to be more efficient, the patient's going to leave quicker. It's just very, re it's evolved to become an incredibly reproducible procedure. That is by far an, the strongest sell selling point of X lift when I teach are the surgeons my fellows, that to me is the strongest f factor in favor of EXIF. It's the one fusion procedure we have that's completely proceduralized. If surgeons follow those steps, the procedures are the same, very reproducible, very easy. And I think that's what makes EXIF unique to me. I mean, that's really the goal. I mean, it's to make every surgeon equal, so every patient gets the same good outcome. And I think that proceduralization of EXIF is the biggest factor in my mind that defines its success.